Another really, really cool episode is the chrome blue Corvette. Well, today we are going to begin to wrap a gorgeous, brand new 2021 C8 Corvette. Now we've wrapped a ton of Corvettes, but not a full wrap on this new body style. And not with what the owner wants this car wrapped in, chrome vinyl. Now we've put chrome vinyl on lots of cars, including my cars, but we've never wrapped an entire vehicle in chrome. And with that car's body lines, good night. This one's gonna be crazy. The car showed up. We were all just kind of infatuated. Here's this brand new Corvette. This thing's beautiful. Two days later, we look at it in the booth. It looked like it exploded. The front end was off, lights were out. Top was off, lights were down. Just like the normal wraps that we do are. But man, it didn't look like much of a Corvette. I grew up in my dad's body shop. He had a body shop for 30 years. I painted my first car when I was 14. So it was always a process on how to paint a car. You take a car apart, you paint everything, you put it back together. So when I started doing wraps 30 years ago, that's exactly how we did wraps as well. So we take the cars apart just like it's a custom paint job, which definitely increases our labor time in actually doing the wrap, but it's recommended by 3M and other wrap companies because this is the proper way to do it. But I want you to see this vet. This is a brand new car. I don't even know if it has 100 miles on it. Look at the front end clip of this car. We just ripped the whole nose off of this car. Come in here and take a look at this door panel. So the interior door panels we remove off the cars as well so we can get this rubber molding off, wrap the wrap into that molding and then put the molding back down. It's the only proper way to do it because if you don't take this rubber molding off, you have to cut this vinyl right here at the rubber molding which puts a blade on your paint job and it's the first place that water can intrude and ruin your wrap. So this is a crucial part and you know, this is something else because my guys have been doing this for a lot of years, but this is their very first Corvette. <laughs> and the whole rear end of this car is ripped off. I came in here this morning, I'm freaking out. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. I didn't even That's see that coming off of there. I saw the front, but not the back. But once again, it's the only way to do it properly. Look at the dedication and the time that it takes going into this car before we even put the first square of vinyl on it. So I'm sending our client a picture of his car torn to pieces. I'm not sure I should do that, but he's got to see what we're doing to this crazy car. Man, I don't know. Everybody freaks out. You know, it, it, it's cool. If we get done and there's a coffee can full of bolts left over, that's a problem. That, that never happens. And then three days later, look in there again. Absolutely mirror blue. Absolutely most beautiful Corvette. Oh, I love it. One of the biggest concerns that we run into with this chrome vinyl is how expensive it is. Uh, Pete and Lumpy have to be extremely careful to plan out the entire process. They also have to decide where they're going to put the knifeless tape to do the seams to keep them down to a minimum and hide them. And we can't get the vinyl to stretch into every corner, so we use other vinyls to accent the inner parts of deep channels. That way we don't have to overstretch the vinyl. If you overstretch this chrome vinyl, it cracks. So they can't make many mistakes because there's only a few small pieces of scrap left over. So if they screwed up on any of these large pieces, we would have to order an entire new roll. And that'd be very costly and Dale would definitely lose his shit. I've been working with Pete and Lumpy for a lot of years and they still amaze me with what they can do with vinyl. Because that rear bumper, it was so difficult, but it looks phenomenal. I'd say, uh, you know, in the grand scheme of things, we're about halfway. After we get all this chrome on, there is still a lot of black vinyl that goes on top and some reflective accent pieces that go on top of it as well. So we're a little ways from being done, but we're making good progress. So after we've got all this vinyl on this car, uh, we've got to remember how we took it apart and put it back together very carefully, not damaging the awesome wrap that we just put on it. That'll be fun to watch. I sure hope they labeled all the screws. Most of the time, Rick will say, hey, we're fabricators, let's not worry about what the wraps do. Uh, this is a really, really awesome episode. So, you want to see the rest of that? Click the link below, and don't forget to push subscribe.